Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Equestria War. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover. And I asked you guys at the end of the last video whether we should join the pact, you know, join the little faction up in the north, uh, whether we should mutually guarantee each other's independence, and or just do our own thing. So, overall, there's overwhelming support for us to join their faction. Someone did say, I think it was Kingston said, that we should join the FATs. I'm not sure what the FATs are. Um, because if we go here, like, we have obviously the Entente, we have the Reich's Pact, we've got the Griffonian People's Real Front, uh, United Ponies Alliance, the Changeling Hegemony, um, and of course the Republican Pact. So, I'm not really sure. We'll join them in the struggle? I guess so, why not? But now, there you go. Ah, there we go. And now we're looking pretty good. Oh, actually, wait. Hmm. Oh, did we? I guess we left our own faction, technically. And then Terran. Oh, they're by themselves. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, not paid licenses. Griffinstone and Waterstown. We'll give them maybe about... Until November to maybe pay us back. But, the fall of the revolution. And I think I read this maybe even twice yesterday. So, we'll, if you would like to read this again, please go right ahead. But, we'll keep it like that. We'll give them until November to see if they can pay us. Because if they don't pay us, well... Oh, reunification with Tarn. Ooh. During the First Revolution, the Countess of Tarn was deposed and executed by local Republicans. However, the Count of Francisvia, a distant relative of the Discrets and a claimant of Tarn, intervened and opportunistically occupied the region. Thankfully, fierce local resistance managed to eventually expel the occupiers, and now Tarn is an independent republic. The time has finally come for Tarn to reunite with Aquilia proper. However, it is possible their current government wishes for autonomy or even continued independence. We cannot tolerate separatism in the Second Aquilian Republic, but perhaps we can make concessions. Let's see what happens. And in the meantime, we don't want uh, too many independent groups near us, so... Just in case. Concessions, stuff like that. Very good. Very, very good. And if you refuse to pay up, then you will not get the goodies. Oh, Watertowns. Hello. Uh, the Socialist Republic of... Oh. Wait. Who? Oh. Um... Well, that's very social, so it looks like... Is that the White House? Hmm. Well, good luck, guys. Good luck. You're gonna need it. We're gonna need it. And we're gonna need some more deputies here, so... Let's go and do that, and then work with the pets. Yes. Very good. We do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm until the war starts, so... I think we'll do relatively... Okay, what is that? Ooh, the Aguirian Law is very nice. Very, very nice. What else do we have around here? I did... Like, I think I said last time we did do that one. Uh, what else? Infantry reliability, breakthrough... Ooh, research speed's not bad. Hard attack's okay, but it's only for divisions that use hard material. Oh. Hello. Um, I... Hmm. Border complex. If we win, we get 100 political power and stability. For the enemy nation, they get lo they lose political power and get more war support. If we lose, we lose quite a bit. So let's not lose. They refuse our proposal. The delegation that was sent to Tarim has returned, therefore, with them... Delivering with them a document which they presented to Theodore Verani. It was an unsigned agreement for Terran's re-annexation into Aquilia proper. The delegation explained that the Taranians had refused to negotiate even about any kind of reunification, and asserted their status as a sovereign independent nation completely free from both Aquilia and Francistria. The response was met with outrage in the government. Terran had traditionally been a part of Aquilia, so the Taranians desiring, desiring independence seemed absurd. This bold separatism could spark unrest in other border regions if it's not dealt with swiftly. Calls were made for a military intervention to dismantle the rebels of Tarim. Some noted the irony of this, how Aquilia was becoming the new Francistria, but they could do little to silence the calls for war. The Tyrrhenians' response was understandable, however, as three decades of foreign occupation had inspired strong nationalism in the area. Of an invasion of Tarim's launch, then Tyrrhenians may never fully accept Aquilian rule. Traitors, we must teach them a lesson. Which is very, very true. Yeah, go and join them, that's fine. Better artillery will be very good to smash and just, just utterly destroy our enemies. And if we win this battle, great. I hope we do. If we start losing, we'll just go straight to war. And as soon as we win or lose, we're going to go straight to war. The father of the revolution, my friends. And armée republicaine expansion. If Aquilia is to defend its revolutionary freedom, and possibly even extend it to the rest of the continent, we need to ensure that our army shall be up to the task, increasing the military budget, and provide more and better trained soldiers for any wars that are to come, especially against our hatred, our hated enemy in the Hetzland. Forty comp you can't you can't argue against forty combo with infantry. Oh, the attackers have been repulsed. The outrageous escalation of conflict by the Republic of Tarn has been met with full force, and the brave defenders have managed to push them back out of Aquilian territory, however. This is only a temporary relief, as the Tyrrhenian government has made it clear they wish to liberate the area at any cost. It is only a matter of time before they attack again, so the army must be prepared. Be gone. Thoughts? No. 
Um, there you go. Very cool. Oh, you guys. You guys are 12 combat width? I was about to say 12 years old. That is... That is not very good. So, we will deal with you the way we ought to. With excessive force. Cool. Alright, I can whip the party. Get more deputies. Nah, 10 is not worth it. We can increase more non aligned. We can worth the supremacists. So be it. We're going to need to do that. So I'm glad I actually looked at foreign policy there. That was actually worth it, especially before we go to war with the Griffonian Empire. Can we cut them off at the north? Yo, Rector is gone. Oh, that's not good. That's only going to make them stronger, and these guys will die. Thank you very much. And we've lost about 2,000 versus. Not bad. <laughs> 72,000 versus 3,000, maybe? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that was. I don't know. I think they have a unique focus tree, actually, Taran does. So that's all, I, should, I should play them some, some, someday. If I can speak correctly. But, uh, oh, that's not good. Um, actually, I'm going to take you guys out. I think it's time for us to take you guys out. We only have 32 divisions here in our normal army. So we'll be kind of ready for them. Uh, Old Wingberg, let's see. The new Kaiserliche Marine. A self uh, 30. I think it might be best if we just start justifying now. Ooh, actually, they have an ally. Bronze Hill. Oh, they're up here, right? Yeah. You know what? Let's start justifying. Because we have the PP for it right now, anyways. But if it's us two, us and the Griffonian Republic, as well as the Skyfall Republic, I think overall, with them fighting on several different fronts, they may have Bronze Hill with them. But I think we'll do relatively okay. And once these guys are gone, we're getting more divisions too. But we're making a lot of divisions as well. So go ahead and train everyone. Have a good time. Train, 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 train. You all come up there and uh, if you need to train, no, you don't need to. Oh, the Falcorian military government. Is this a, is this a second civil war? Gabriel de Artiglio. Oh. Whoa, the ongoing crisis. Appeasers no longer. Abrogate the shameful treaty. The old eminence. Whoa. Falkisha Militar Militarigerung. Whoa. That is... That's kind of cool, actually. The supremacists. Not bad. Not bad. Skyfall. Okay. Uh, do we have any more ships, actually? Eh, a few more destroyers. Not too bad. Let's come back over here. We've got plenty of PP for now. Work with these guys. That is fine with us. That is totally, totally okay. And up next... Ooh, Dassault. Very good. We want more tanks, like I said before, so even more tanks then. And more military factories, obviously, and stuff like that, so... Mm, it's not bad. Improve it, improve it. Keep making more civvies, too, because just industry is going to be so, so, so important. Up next... I gotta start looking at that stuff. Cast? We're using bombers for this one, so this one would be best to do. We're still making some more tanks. Armor, Ava... A speed... I like speed. I want more armor, though, because we'll take some uh, medium tanks. Oh, happy 10 11, though. Alright, so after this one, we should be able to do ex executive stuff. No, we need 300, so we'll be going through quite a few of these next. So if you want to read about the National Geological Survey, please go right ahead, but it is what it is. Cool. Um, I don't want to go to war yet, but that's fine. Enchanted Marines, very good. And uh, Max Factories in a state, it is 10 11. Research speed. That'll be good. Alright. Let's get our ships going. Go and do that. And how long is it going to take for us to repair? Ooh. There you go. Nice. Since we don't have the deputies yet, let's go ahead and choose this one so we get some more resource prospecting decision category stuff. Very good. Do that one. And... And... Not, not really much here. We can do that one first, and then we can do that one, I guess. That'd be fine. 68% war support. We can go ahead and grab a AA MG proliferation, which I don't usually use this, but... It costs 75 political power to use, or army XP, I should really say. So, not great, but not bad. Alright, so you guys done repairing? Repair if you need to. It shouldn't take that long. Oh, oh my goodness. We're oh, that is really not good. Yeah, get down at least down to there so you can make two at one time. That's good. There goes a the Dread League. And what else do we have here? War Industrials would not be bad. Ideological Crusader. Resource Efficiency Gain is not bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Resource Efficiency Gain. Uh, Constructor Speed. I like that one, too. In our states occupied by the enemy. That's only if you're losing. You do get more population to use. It's only 5% Construction Speed. I'm going to go with ships. No, let's go with Military Staff. Offense. Um, no. Let's wait. Well, Lionel the Brochard is always going to do for more defense anyway, so. The Dark Crusader and Lecturian Order. Very cool. Ah, yeah, factory's good, because we can use them right there for more anti-air. And then we're going to work on a lot of this stuff, and then work on a lot of this stuff. Screw the fires next, maybe. Uh, there you go. There you go. 
There we go. Go up through the stuff. Oh, there goes those guys. Very cool. Anti-air upgrades. Uh, you want to get that one so we can start producing that a little bit more. That'd be good. And work with the pat. Yes. Because we're still going to need more stuff. And these guys aren't quite dead yet, which is not good. Well, actually, that is good for us, but... I should have sent volunteers, but last time we sent volunteers in the last episode, it didn't work out so well for us, let's be real. <laughs> Alright, oh! Yeah, we still need more anti air. We're gonna need a lot more artillery where we're headed to, so. Uh, let's go make another army. And, swell, no, good blood, la favor. Very good. And once these guys die, we'll, we'll re extend the line here. The March of the Falcons. Cool. An interesting development. Do we have more divisions? Uh oh. What is this? Oh, Sky Navy, yeah, that's fine. Oh, they're just fighting us too? Oh, whatever. Oh! We're helping them out. Nice! Very good. Uh, let's see. Military factory. Railways. Military factories would be really nice, actually, to have. Uh, synthetic oil. Construction speed. I want that extra research slot, so if you, if you like to read about this, please go right ahead. But, there we go. Kingdom of Griffinstone, huh? Alright. I hope you guys can quickly go through this, because we got another war coming through here very soon. Griffinmarschen? Very cool. There you go. Oh, if you like it about that, please go right ahead. Hmm. Hmm. The seeds of a new generation of cooks have been planted. Very nice. Good. Another division. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Any more work with the FJA? Yes. For you guys who want to deploy it, there you go. What are we missing? Just more anti air? Yes, we are. And artillery to a degree as well. So we're making a lot of that. So, well, sort of. Um, have our ships done anything? They're still repairing, aren't they? Kind of. Oh, battle cruiser. Nice. Get them in there. Get them in there. Get them in there. Sink everything that you can find around here. So nothing will leave. You know what? Split you guys in half. I think that'd be okay. For now, once we fight these guys, though, that won't be very good. Black and white storm declare one of the polar bear communities. What the heck is going on over there? Black and White Storm? Oh, is that the Penguins? King Ovar Njordan. That's kind of cool. Nice. Guys, can you please not die there? Oh, my goodness. I definitely don't want to help out and invade, but still. And they died. Hmm. There you go. And Poach Deputies. Yeah, that'll be worth it. New Manhattan Explosion. Not bad. Can't quite do this one yet. We still need 300, which is so many. So after that one, we will go ahead and do tax cuts for the arms industry. So if you wonder about that, please go right ahead. We get more military factories, which we could use pretty much immediately. Get some better anti-air as well. Nice. Oh, we're out of guns. That's not good. Let's get more. Actually, do we core this area yet? We have not. So let's stop training then. Stop training. Oh. Oh, there goes those guys. All right. What is this like? 40%, that'll come along. 37, 13%, which makes sense. Local autonomy is very good. Oh, integration, that's for only for certain. I should have thought about that before. So that'll help out slightly more. And we have this as well. Cool, let's go with, not that one. This one, tax cuts for the arms industry. Nice. We love tax cuts sometimes. As long as they directly benefit us, right? What's going on here? Oh, we actually lost a convoy, huh? An allied convoy, at least. Good. Get some better tanks. Um, yeah, go and grab those medium tanks. I want some mediums. Wow, we're really going to need way more military factories. I'm glad we're making more, though. Uh, we need to go to war by the 10-11. It's not bad. Since we're at war now, we could probably call in our allies to help out as well, right? It says you guys could win, so if you did this, could you win against them? You might be able to. You might not. Just in case, I'm going to go by service by requirement first. That'd be very good. Okay, maybe not. They won't. They, may, they might not. Guys, come in. I know you're fighting your war up there, but come on. Come on. There's a reason why we call it the, we accepted your alliance. Uh, nah. Barony. Now nah, we're good. Okay. We're okay for now. We've lost. Oh, this is glitch. We can't even see how much we've lost. Well. Technically, we can still. We just do this. Uh, 70,000 is not too bad yet. 
How much manpower do they have? I want to make sure we can... Ooh, they're getting more and more. God, these guys. Why did you go up to war up here if you can't kill them off? I mean, don't get me wrong. We're doing quite well over here, I would say. Mobile infantry is very good. Get even more recovery rate. Let's grab some mass motorization. Because that's super, super necessary. Uh, what else do we have here? Ooh, no free from them. That is not ideal. Commonwealth, let's grab two from you. That should definitely help us out quite a bit more. And we're going to need way more guns after this. Way, 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 way more guns. With them going to war with these guys, that would be very nice. Alright, this is probably one of the easier times I've had so far, taking out the Griffonian Empire. They don't seem that strong, but go scavenger this time. Tax cuts, very good. And create that Snicka. If you like it about that, please go right ahead. Boom! Nice. Oh. Guys, can you just please just find and destroy the ships? Oh, these guys are completely surrounded, huh? That's pretty nice, I'd say. Nice. We got it. Alright, so, cool. So make sure, when we actually do this, you're guarding around these guys. That'll be good. And you guys go right, like, here-ish. Go and reorganize yourselves. That'll be good. Three-ish? Two-ish? Maybe? One-ish? No? Okay. Now you want to come in? After we've already defended this entire area? You're not going to get anything from us. There you go. Better artillery would be nice. Get even better artillery? No, we'll wait. Can we get that stuff yet? No, we cannot. But technically, yes, we can. Let's get some research for nuclear stuff. There we go. Finally, the convoy's been sunk. Alright, let them struggle over here as well a little bit more. Mm, seems like a really bad idea. What are our people doing here? Let's see. Go over there, and then you guys go ahead and put down some resistance around here. I don't want to have too much resistance, so there you go. See what we can do. How are y'all doing? Actually, you guys should just go up to like here if you possibly can. That'd be really good. Improve PD machine. Get some more decryption as well. Please just go up north, guys. Come on. Cut him off. Nice. Griffonian Republic. This is this is sad. This is sad. Eh, we could get some more war support and work with the Pats. Yes. Now, nah, so with these guys all going to be destroyed, that'll be very, very good. God, I wish, uh, we didn't lose that many guys, but we're still probably... 50,000 uh, 50, ain't too bad. Win ratio of 93% is pretty good, too. So, nice. Look at all these guys are going to die here. Nice. Go with Fortress Buster for this one. Or, yeah, Fortress Buster. A bunker buster. Hey, they died. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely Beautiful. Create this snicka, and then we'll grab the, this one because I want the research slot. There you go. Very good. 305 is very, very good. Actually, we could have gotten that next one. Yeah, they're not going to get anything out of this. No, I'm sorry, but that's complete BS to me. You basically come in after we defeated most of their army. Not all of it, obviously, but most of it. So, no. <laughs> you think you can just get free stuff from us? Free loot from us? No, no, no. That's not how it's going to work here. And someone did say we might be able to annex him once we take Griffenheim, so that'll be really good to get, so. Help him out, and by help him out, I mean kill them off. Oh, yeah. It's a very costly war, though. Very costly. Good. Break over that river. And we got him! Uh, I'm not really sure that these guys really want territory... Anyone have claims on this? No, Captain and Principality. No, okay, well. That was literally one of the easiest times we've ever taken these guys out. Oh, we're so at war with these guys? That is A-OK -okay with me. So, there you go. I don't want to send the tanks in real. We don't really have tanks, but knights and such, so. Let's see what happens. Beautiful. Hoist the tricolor. Cool. Uh, let's kill all these guys off first before we do that one, though. Let's, let's wait. FJA support to work with these guys? Yes. And then we will do expand the presidential executive. One of the most hotly debated parts of the Quilling Constitution is a function of the executive office. Our political stance has always been to strengthen the stewarding role of the executive position and ensure that the nation has a strong figure to rally behind. By increasing the presidential powers, they can take decisive action when needed to ensure that the nation will never fall again into tyranny. It's good. Very good. 
Yeah, on a historical, this is quite a bit easier. Oh wait, are we not? Oh, Hawkland. These guys are pathetic. Man, I wanted to go to what the guys. I just want to kill you. That's all. I want to kill you with love. Lots and lots of love. We just want to love you. That's all. Lots of love. You know, nothing but love from us. Nothing but love. That's a festival of love. A oh, fifth research slot. So nice. All right. We don't even have that much naval stuff here. We have battleships, battle cruisers, stuff like that. So that'll be good. And expand the exec presidential executive. Nice. I need, I need to take a sip of this coffee. I forgot about this. And go and do that too. And I do want to take out these guys first. Wow. Uh, it only costs PP, right? So there you go. There you go. Ooh, do we need more steel? Rubber actually might be really useful. Uh, thank you. Actually, something easier to do it like this. There you go. Roads, 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 roads. And help put down resistance too. Do we get to straight up annex them all? That'd be really cool. Going over here too. Not bad. And so we have enough map. Are we still mobilizing? We are! Great! Yep, yeah, I definitely don't want to help out these guys up here. They didn't do anything for us, so. I'd say not too bad. This was literally the easiest time. New Sky Navy burns, alright. Okay, polar bears. Ah, oh, these guys are so sad. I don't want to take them out myself. I mean, I keep giving them, like, good uh, naval supremacy. <sighs> Nova Griffoni, Claire Warren, Hawkland as well. No one likes Hawkland here. You guys just lose on attack and defense. That is so sad. As you can tell, we're really ready just to go ahead. Oh! Um, I don't think I deserve that. I'm not really sure who should get that, but... Um, it's probably not Nova Griffoni. Re Griffoni Republic? Uh, well, I'll get it to these guys just because it looks like they did the most, maybe. So there you go. Oh. Oh, no. We have nowhere near the amount of score that we need to give. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. I don't really care. My apologies for the clicking as well. We obviously didn't have that much score. But I do want to at least take out the River Federation. Maybe take out whoever's down south with the Kingdom Wing body and such. So uh, That is way too much score. Wow, that is ridiculous. How much score? That is 400-some. Wowzes. Wowzes and bowzes. I always thought that was very weird. If you look at the image here, you know, you see these ships, and they're just like... Their middle is just conjoined. It's like conjoined triplets. So I always thought that was a little disgusting, so... There you go. That's 500! What the heck? Oh my goodness. My apologies for this. Man. There you go. Cool. Alright, do we win that battle? Yes, we did. Very good. Alright, boys. Go ahead and... Oh, wait, we're still at war. Uh, we're almost out of the war, so... Alright, they're done. Oh, God. Um, hopefully, there, there's not too many victory points up here. We'll give this, obviously, obviously to the Republic. I think that they deserve the most of it, so... Let me just take all that stuff yet. Oh, you can. That's good. Nice. My apologies for the clicking. But, this has gone by very quickly. This campaign so far, very, very quick. Very, 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 very quick. And how much do they need for this one? Not bad. And are we peace? Oh, if you'd like to read about this one, please go right ahead. Remind me not to look at the sun. Good. And we got that last one done. And obviously, we'll probably do the Cloudberry Connection, because it makes more sense. So, while the revolutionaries in Cloudberry may have failed once, we will still owe them a debt of gratitude for all they did to advance their ideology. Let us reach out to them once again and form an alliance against the hated Imperial Menace. Only together can we defeat this greatest trial. Great. And, oh, we can this one we need. Oh, wow, we can't even do this one yet. Um, because it's not even 10, 12 yet. The, this shall be the call of the revolution. Uh, debout les citoyens d'Aquilier, qui le sang des trans empereurs abreuve nos salons. Also, here and rally to the call or cower and fear. Which, I totally speak to lots and lots of French. Totally. But let's go do this one. No, let's do this one. There you go. Nice. Yeah, we had no air support either. Hmm. Hmm. Let's work with them. Uh, let's, what's the tricolor? The Republican Unification. 
After we get some more infrastructure. There we go. Cool. A dream is such a fragile thing, and the waking hours as reality reasserts itself. We grasp after it in the hopes that the wonders it showed us would stay. So many times we were denied, and in the time it fades from memory to leave behind only a feeling, a hope, or maybe not even that. After the first revolution, we feared that the Republican dream would go the same way as so many others, yet we did not forget and we did not stop laboring. Today, as Aquilian and Northern Republican soldiers came together, were two, their two front lines met. The dream is real. Our old comrades who were parted after the first revolution now meet each other in the streets of Griffenheim, laughing and crying as they embrace each other, and despite the exhaustion and the casualties that are getting this far demanded, euphoria fills all of us. A uh, dream 40 years in the making has become true, and we stand in unknown territory, no longer revolutionaries, but leaders still. We face this brave new Griffonia together, united in democracy, prosperity, and liberty. Hoist the tricolor. And you are correct, whoever said that in the comments. We do, we literally just get to annex all of them, even though we have no claim cords on this. Ooh, that's not good. All before 1012. Not bad. Oh, wait. We can do someone anyways. Oh. Huh. It's November 1011, but okay, sure, why not? Let's see what we got here. If the Griffonian dream does not come to those who fall asleep, we have defeated the Empire, but there's so much yet to be done. Farms lie follow, and the people cry out for peace, land, and bread, af and after all, the Griffonian dream is one for all, not just a chosen few. There is no time to waste, my friends, and what are we going to do with these divisions? Well, we'll separate them through and see what we got. And let's see, you got you, so become like that, thank you, and go right there. Alright, we have a lot of mount some mountaineers, some infantry, and we will have no supplies. And there you go. Now that's a nice army. Even though we got a lot of people to take out now, so it is what it is. That is fine with us. And we're going to need some generals. Do we at least get the, the generals here? Yes. Reinhard Suntail. Very cool, very cool. And we will have Rosewing. Let's go with Eagle Heart. I've used that person before. Ooh, Ross Corsair. I kind of like that one. Max Whitefeather looks kind of like, why am I even here still? And it's four attack. Well, heck yeah. Very nice. And more manpower. Of course, then again, we need to... Ooh, do stuff. Citizen Grover. You kings and emperors have a knack for giving me that look, Theodore Varani told the young boy. Sitting in front of him. It's an exceptionally vicious one, really. Do you practice it often? The boy didn't respond to his ribbing, defiantly remaining silent and continuing to give him that glare. What do you imagine is going to happen now? Varani continued, first now getting an answer. You're going to kill me, like you tried with my dad and did with the discrets, Grover the Sixth replied. There's a slight tremor in his voice, but by Arcturus, the boy had guts. Varani found himself quite impressed. Do you know what the discrets did after the first revolution? He leaned forward a little as he asked the question. It was the stuff of nightmares. Thousands were executed, sometimes entire families. The streets of Aquilia ran red with blood, all because the people demanded freedom. Freedom they tried to take with violence, Grover responded. The revolutionaries killed thousands too, just look at what they did in Catherine. You're well read, Barani nodded, but you know what that preceded that, or preceded that? Years and decades of campaigning, negotiating, arguing, cajoling, begging for the right to be more than a servant. To have a voice in the end, there was no other option. You revolted against an order set down by the gods themselves. Just because you want something, you just don't get it. You don't just get it by revolting. Aha, so then the only option is violence, Varani countered. And that, and then I have to, to do away with you? Grover had built up some esteem, was loved, taken aback, and fell silent. Varani smiled as he leaned forward, but if it isn't, and there really is a chance of peace, shouldn't I give you citizenship, a pension, and a shield against those who might hurt you? Maybe even let you get a chance to go into politics one day. I don't know what your answer is, but I know mine. You're safe, citizen Grover. Very cool. And actually, we're not that much out of guns. Or, or artillery, I should say. We got plenty of guns. Wow. Increase it by 10. But, oh, wow. We got, oh, this is nice. This is really nice. We got plenty of light tanks, which is okay. We definitely need to put more on here. So, I'm going to just go and do, like, one. We have way too many anyway, so that's nice. And light tanks and a lot more planes, too. Very good. Oh, we have even another dockyard? Um, Heavy ship and destroyers. Get another heavy ship. Which, we need to probably research more ship stuff, which is okay with us, and... Oh, wow. We got some not-so-great ships. But that is a-okay. Oh, actually, uh... Hard subs. Subs. Eh, I usually don't pair subs with other task forces and such. But, at this point, I don't really care too much. There's only two of them. So. There you go. Oh, more divisions. Very nice. Very, very nice. Wow, the Prywin... What the heck happened over there? Huh. Mass motorization. Let's grab some mechanized offensives as well as improve ourselves down here. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, we can do a lot of this too, which would be very good. Option developments. Oh, widespread heat missiles. Self propelled artillery. I'm not sure if we'll actually use that, but we'll see what happens. And we're still working with that. That's good. Foreign policy is kind of close for now, and that's fine. 
A change of policy. The Plaza Field Assembly was almost deafening, and Varani took the time to study the faces of every creature in there. 400 creatures, 400 of the most stubborn, difficult, and petty-minded fools on this side of the Griff King. He had lost count of how many times he had wanted to tear out his feathers at their antics, and yet he would miss them. We now approach a new era, and with it a new challenge, singular and horrifying in its implications. The realization that Aquilia is not the center of the world. Jeers came from the assembly, members at this quip. But it was not only a joke, as they depart this assembly to become the head of the new federal assembly. This is something I must keep in mind, and I have no doubt that some here will find much to criticize me for. I will no longer be an Aquilian president, but a Griffonian one. And yet we rise to a new, greater era, one where we stand united with Akim, in Hatsland, and elsewhere. We may fear that we surrender some of our control over our fates to others, but we must not lose sight of how this unity will also allow us to keep a prosperity and security only ever offered by the Empire, yet without the repressions, the Hatsland centrism, and the tyranny that accompanied it. I will be a Griffonian president, yet as Aquilia is part of the great unity, I will champion her as I have before, every griff and every pony. Thank you for the time I've spent working with you for all the sake of our nation, slowly. His smile turned impish as he looked around himself. And lastly, from the bottom of my heart, I hope that I'll never have to deal with any of you stubborn nincompoops ever again. <laughs> with that, the applause turned to a more jeering, and Verani gave him all a teasing bow as he left the speaker's podium. The true work is about to begin. Assembly will be dispersed until further notice. Oh, stability works work goes way down. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. We got a lot of options here. I've completely not even done that much up here, too. Royal economic grants. I like that. The foundations of the social state. Very cool. I like the political power. And more construction speed and stability. Liberation of the cradle of Griffon Griffin kind. To declare war upon Griffins. To oh, I like that. Bump up what remains. More war. I love war. Strike against political radicalism. Ban private banking institutions. And scale back the military industrial complex. Not a bad idea. Can I get... Is there anything about cores here? Because I do want to core more areas here. Um, let's see. Integrate. Rebirth. Ah. Federalism. Every Griffin... Oh! Every Griffin count, country on Griffonia, with the exception of the Arcturian Order, has been conquered, subjugated, or joined our faction. Interesting. The New Republican Jedame. Non-core pony power. Okay, that's not bad. Damage gear does go down. That is interesting. And we can't do that one, because this is over here. Alright, so that's pretty much all we can do. Alright, well, let's see what happens. we got to go down here, so we got to boom, da boom, da boom. I guess we just have to go to war. Let's mop up what remains. Once the domain of Alexander Kemerskaya, the north of Griffonia still contains tyrants and traitors that need to be dealt with. If our republic is to survive, pack your winter gear and logistical equipment, we're going north. Nice. Octarian order is gone. What happens if you actually go to war with those guys up there, the Dread League? Is that good? Is that bad? I'm not really sure. I've never I've never fought them before, so. Um, no, we'll keep that one for now. Knights of the Realm. Looking, eh. Nah, I don't even want to look at all this stuff. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I don't even care. I'm not even looking. Nope. Nope. You guys are... Border War. Okay. Um, knights. Very good. Let's grab some more knights since we have some of the army XP for now. And I'm almost done with this coffee, too. Oh, boy. We have 30 left. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Not quite dumb, but very, very close. Oh, hello. Hmm, seems like someone's going to need a good old beating. I'm probably going to lose this one just because, uh... Well, oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Alright then. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I did not realize that they just go straight to war with us, but okay. Okay. Uh, that's okay. It's almost 10-12. Let's grab some more construction speed. Now with five research slots, I think we're going to do pretty darn well. And we will go ahead and do a little bit more of naval stuff. To victory. Those dudes in Romao have no chance against our brave troops. Valiantly, we stood and fended them off. This is our land, and they will not take it from us. Take that, my friends. We showed up late, and we still won the battle. Mm, we're still pretty, doing pretty well here. Executive orders. I like that. 40% or more popularity. That's kind of cool. I like this stuff. It's interesting. You lose stability, but you get more political power, too. Uh, war support. Region-wide stuff. I don't mind doing some of this stuff, too. Do we need any more resources? We need more rubber. That's the only thing we need, just rubber. We are getting a little more of that, too. Not bad. More millies for now? Why not? And throw in uh, one of these. 
Oh, Engineer 2, very nice. The fall of Bronze Croix, you betcha. Find those dogs. Find those doggies. Uh, cruisers are nice. Oh, I want to go with heavy ships. I like heavy ships. The heavier, the better, right? And since we're here, Luca Ru. Oh, sub destroyers. It's just that one's better. 5% more is not much, but I like that one. Oh, well, Mapa, what remains, as well as liberate the cradle of Griffin Kind. The core of Pan Griffonian ideology is that a republic can only survive on Griffonia if it covers the whole continent. Only bound together in Republican Brotherhood can we survive, and without it, we fall. Griffinstone, the home of all Griffin Kind, is the second great piece in this Pan Griffonian puzzle without it. Can we ever call ourselves the Republic of all Griffins? Thus, we must liberate the cradle of Griff Griffin Kind on the entire continent. Sure, I'm not really sure what it says, but. Yeah, it's kind of. You can't scroll up or down and see what all the text is, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. You know, things happen. But now we get decisions to take out other people? Oh, yes. Yeah, go just do that, anyways. Um, anything else? Yeah, a smotch upon these people? We just go to war with the Brant Bink Socialist Republic right here. Bronze Hill, thank you. Alright. And then Vedina. Nice. We'll get there very soon as well. Oh, uh, do we take out these guys as well, maybe? They're technically allied to us. Fleet and Bing is nice. Grab some of that too. Are we still training? Yes, that's very good. Uh there you go. We're pretty much ready to go, right? Supplies are really bad. Let's go do that one. In 30 days, we'll be good. Don't worry about it too much. You guys kind of hang down here. Very nice. And after this, we will go ahead and do Strike at the Palm. Or Strike at, at the Pack. Well, we could, but... The South of Griffoni is a section of the continent least used to the ideals of Pan-Griffonian Republicanism. Thus, our campaign here must be undertaken with care and tact. So our army shall be given only two simple goals. Destroy the monarchies and uplift the citizens. Bigger, better shipperinos. And a strike at the pact. Up next, then we'll go and do strike against political radicalism. Radicals of all sorts live in the shadows of our new society. War fuels their hate campaigns, and the violence that guides the Republican cause to this point is used as false ammo against us. And while we are democracy tried and true, we cannot tolerate movements that wish to tear apart our democratic institutions and place our citizens once more in chains. Hey, look! I guess we're gonna go to war. Not bad. And I think we're doing it relatively okay. Oh, we can see this gun. Look at this. Nice. We lost a thousand versus nine thousand. Not bad. Not bad. Fighting in the mountains really sucks. Bacan Republic. Cool. That makes it easier for us to take other people out then. Very nice. Very nice. So how united are these people down here? Fairly united. So that's not good. We only have one little land front line with them. So that's not too bad. Cool. We definitely need to get some logistic companies here though. And anything here? Nope. All right then. Where's the capital? Strike at the pact. The final frontier. Ooh. Let's strike at political radicalism first. Follow it up with the final frontier. The Ev Valley. The final frontier of the Griffonian quest for unity. To boldly go where few Aquilians have gone before. To liberate these final members of Griffin society and to bring them unity in our great republic. This is the final great mission of our army. And after this, maybe it laid to rest. Very good. We could use more war support. Foreign policy, straight with Skyfall. We'll see. We could do some of that too. And planes. Saffron, yeah, really, this one's the best one to do for us. Only 20% support for. Oh, that's not good. We could honestly probably use more daily non aligned support, actually. But I don't think we can get that, so we have to come over here and then. Let's see, where is it? Cut down on other people's opinions and such. Probably. Nice. There we go. And let's go over here where it supplies probably a little bit better. Ah, fighting Skyrim. Oh! I don't like that. Okay. Ah, the Griffonian Dream. Not bad. And we'll get there very soon with Kampfgruppe. Actually, our tank's coming along. Construction is nice. Let's get some more output then. Alright, let's take a look over here. This looks not very good. Uh, medium tanks. We'll start at least with 20 combat width. That'll be good. Six fours will be nice. Not much, but it's a start. The Griffonian Dream. With the, old, with the recent upheaval, the political stage has shifted immensely. 
With most of the old order gone, the Griffins of the Hatchland in particular are left seeking new answers and has taken the form of a veritable gold rush after new voters for the various parties. The PDNA has remained, renamed itself to the National Republican Party, merging with the old Cloudberry Republicans to assert themselves as the last in an unbroken lineage of Republicans going back all the way to the First Revolution. Meanwhile, the FJA has renamed itself the Young Griffonia Front, and the Godro has personally toured the countryside to listen and to speak with the locals. As she did in v Vino Via, she continues to work on a grassroots level. The Socialists, after a minor crisis, as some of the members argued for a Scandinavian-style breakaway, have gotten themselves under control again, renamed them themselves to the Griffonian People's Party, and swore to continue standing by the Democratic mandate. Some have doubted the sincerity of this pledge, but it is hard to find any fault in the Grand Crew's decisive handling of the crisis. Lastly, the fiercely Aquilian Nationalist MPA have abandoned the Aquilian side of their rhetoric and have worked to unite various local nationalist groups under the umbrella name of Griffonian Nationalist Association, the GNA which seeks to ensure the preservation of the many unique Griffonian identities. More than one dry remark has been made about how those who once wished to ensure Aquilia's cultural dominance now try to act as a champion of less prominent identities. While other parties have risen as well, these four groups have nonetheless, nevertheless, ensured their dominance in a current political landscape, now standing to represent not just Aquilians, but all Griffins. Nice. And the final frontier, though. Very good. Let's get our guys over there first, and scale back the presidential executive. Um, scale back presidential powers? Yeah, let's see what happens. Ban private uh, banking institutions. Banks have extorted the common griffin for far too long. Exorbitant interests, and refuses to loan to anyone but the most desperate, moneyed, or daft. No more. We will seize all the banks and place them under the government so that they, we can secure a better future for all. Just seize the banks. Just seize them. That's all you have to do. Just seize them. Oh god, supply is really bad up here. Well, at least we got enough of this to do that, so... Uh, let's go and just start supplying on... Bedino. We should do relatively okay... Uh, with these guys here, I'm just gonna go take them out here. I'll be fine for now. F7. Ooh. Do we get... Do we core all this stuff? Oh, we must have. Look at that. Nice. I love becoming, uh, huge. Actually, that's a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some heavy cannons, then. There you go. Yeah, uh... Political representation right now? No, I think not. I'm thinking no, not, not yet. No, no, no. Yeah, banning these things. Outlaw interest representation. That's not bad to do as well. Yeah, I think I like that one to get more political power as well. Even though we don't really need it immediately yet, I think that'll still be relatively okay for us. Nice. Ooh, we definitely need that one. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Any other ships? Yes, we do. Capital ships? No. And there we go. Basic heavy batteries. Grab the next level. We should do relatively okay against these guys. Let's take a look. They've got the 26 divisions. We have 95. We're really 90, 90 divisions fighting them all. Even though supply really is bad around here. Ooh, maybe we should stop training then. Good luck. If you need a repair, just go ahead. I don't really care too much. Nice. I mean, it won't be that bad around here, so... But, uh, outlaw interest representation. Is there anything more useless than a griffin than a lobbyist? They exist to take bribes from the wealthiest in society. They form think tanks and interest groups to deprive the people of the right to their own opinions. And they mess wealth off the griffins who fall for their lives. Our new republic has no room for this luxury. Throw them out. Consumer goods factories goes a little more, but we get more political power back, so. That's yeah, alright. We're going to be building up a lot of roads here. Alright, they signed a white piece. Wow. Kingdom of Farbrook. Look at that. Nice blue. Very nice blue. Actually, what ideology are they? That looks really cool. King Hermain. The warrior chief. That's really cool. Got a lot of manpower. Are we still mobilizing? Yes, we are. Wow. Okay, very cool. A generous donation. <clears throat> but after we go in and select this one. And I definitely understand the efforts that you were going through, the banker told Michael, being all smiles. Thing is, we're still dealing with the fallout of the recent regime change, and our documentation just isn't ordered at all. We need a week at least to get things prepared before we transfer our assets to the government. Michael gave the Griffin a dry look at this. Then present your documentation to us as is, and we will sort it out. We've seen plenty of messy books recently. He didn't trust this Griff at all, especially not when he began to toot at Michael. Oh, we couldn't possibly do that. Our bank has prided itself on keeping our griffs in a row for a century now. And while we're obviously going to comply with the new regulations, we want to at least go with 
our books in order. Look, I understand that you have your schedule to think of as well, and I wouldn't want it to cause you issues. Couldn't 5,000 idols smooth things over for now? He asked with a coy smile as he held out a large wad of bills to Michael, just to ensure that your affairs can run smoothly as well. Michael simply took the money, turned around, and walked outside the door. He felt somewhat mean, being well aware that the banker probably was breathing a sigh of relief behind him, but as Michael opened the door, the sigh must have been caught in his throat as two police griffs stood outside. Michael handed them the money. Gentle griffs, please arrest this person for attempting to bribe a government official. He put the money into a paper bag for evidence as the two police griffs marched inside and caught the wildly protesting banker. This was the fifth one today trying to pay him off so they'd have time to squirrel away their assets out of the government's reach. Who said you can't enjoy your job? Oh boy. Oh boy. I love it. And I love taking out enemies. Very nice. And there we go. Very cool. Who's next? Who's next? Helloquill? Wow, what happened over here? This, what happened here? That's so bad. Uh, we still have the River Federation. Helloquill is probably next just because we can. There you go. And more divisions. Very good. Jolly, jolly good. Actually, we can probably get these down just a little bit more now. And there you go. Nice. Good. We can still do that stuff down there, but scale back the present. No, 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 we won't do that one. Scale back this stuff. We could probably scale back the military industrial complex. Well, the Griffins of the military industrial complex were good allies to have during times of war. Our partnership has grown uneasy in these times of peace. The rights and privileges they have been given have been made them complacent. And now they openly try to push our regime to further conflicts across the globe. It's time we put a stop to this and clip their wings before they can kill more of our chicks. Probably good. We lose political power, unfortunately. Consumer goods goes down, which is nice. Less stability, though. But more factory output. And less military factory construction speed. It is what it is. Alright, so not, not bad so far. Not bad. Oh, uh, I do like... I, d I prefer cruisers usually, but I don't, I don't mind going destroyers. Let's grab this one first. Alright, what do we have here? At least get as many level 3 things as possible. Obviously not a... Uh, huh. Radar, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, battleship? Battleship. Let's go 3, go... Uh, we have more than enough naval XP for this, so... Lots of anti-air. And can you go level 2 yet? No, you cannot. So get even more anti-air then. There you go. Save for now. We're not done yet with that stuff. Oh, oh cool. You're next. Sure, guys. Prywin? Yes. Even though I don't think we'll really need too many volunteers. Wing body to loose. S R S. Whoa. Who is that? Communist Talnara. To loose. Kind of like that. We should be done with these guys relatively soonish, so. Obviously, I could be wrong about that, though. I could be very, very wrong. But, uh, they've already lost about 47,000, so not bad. Nice. Grab some of that, and let's start getting some radar as well. So we can put it on our ships eventually. Good. Is that it? No, it's not. Oh, boy. And... Is that it now? Yes, it is. That's good. Oh, hello. Wait. Oh, you guys are fighting over there. That's fine. Um, how many more days? Oh, we got two weeks. That's fine. You, Felix Marat, has anything? No, no, no. Nothing for us. Okay, then. Should do relatively okay around here as well. Alright, got enough army XP for this, and uh, there you go. You guys are done. So get some of that, get up some of that, grab some of this. All good stuff. And there you go as well. Nice. And logistics. I did say logistics earlier, so let's go grab that immediately. Supply can be, just be so bad here. Oh, it's still so bad down here some, in some places. Yep. Alright, so we go to war immediately, which is nice. Don't do that, do that, do that. Because we're going to need all these roads eventually. Fail fire. Huh. Very nice. Well, I'll finish more of that off-screen as well, so. Not bad. You guys, head on down here. And you guys go here, and then do some of that. Oh, Kemmer's guy. We did get him. Nice. I like that a lot. You, because you have a command boat. Command boat. You guys go over there. And you guys stop doing that region. Go right here. See what you can find around Toulouse. Oh, wait. We're finding these guys, too. Oh. Well, that's not good. That is really not good, then. All right. So, that's the case. You all go right here. 
and do that. Are we only fighting two enemies? Yes. That's fine. Alright, let's grab. Ah, let's go just grab this one. It's fine, whatever. Improved airplane catapults. Got some better depth charge throwers. Uh, we lost. We lost a lot. Fifty thousand. How? Camp Koopa. We'll go with modern blitzkrieg for this one though. That's insane. That's actually really, really bad. I mean, we should not. I think we'll wait next time to go to war with people. But uh, yeah, Trans Griffonian Railway. The connection of Griffonia, made real by our efforts, must still be cemented. We must make it once economically, politically, and also physically. To bring all the Griffins together, we shall embark on the connection and standardization of railway gauges throughout the Griffonia just to make sure the world to make the world a little bit smaller. Uh, it was mostly against SRG here, so I mean mountains, it's not too bad, but still. We'll definitely make sure that yep, they lost more than us so far, which is good. That's not enough. They killed off way too many of our soldiers. Kill every last one of them. I want to see two hundred thousand dead. Come on. Make it make sure they make more divisions so we can kill them off. Not enough casualties. Not enough. Oh, these guys up there died first. Oh, they they completely ran out of divisions. So that was close. That was my bad. Oh my goodness. A lot more divisions I lost than I would have liked to have lost. Alright, so now we have a big old border with the Griffonian People's Republic. Oh, oh that's a big border. That's a huge border. Hmm. Wingbody Broadfeld. Ah, it's down there. That's what I thought. Griffin Stone is over there. House of Irie. We'll get that one. So we're going to need a massive army to take those guys out next time, which is totally fine with me. Uh, so actually, okay, they cancel the non Christian back. Okay then. Well, all right. And we will obviously be demobilizing it as time goes on a little bit more and more. Anything else here? No? Okay, that's good. After this, go back to the powers, research speed. Ooh, it's not bad. I like that. But we're all economic grants. It's all been too easy to let wealth be siphoned out of the countryside and off into the cities, especially for the poor regions. This could well be a killing blow. Shall we, the entire republic, survive or live? Yes. Then we must make sure that the countryside is all that as well can taste the fruits of modernity. Nice. Good, good, good. Get some more destroyers, too. That's good. And actually, can we just kill these guys off? There you go. I'll let you guys encircle these guys and kill them off that way. Nice. There you go. Not bad. Over here. Uh, no. Resource monthly population. Yeah, I think I'll probably just choose this one. Oh, that's fine. Rural populace, that's fine. We should be able to do quite well around here. We've only killed off... Oh, it's glitch again. Man, that sucks. We need to get more planes, too. That would be important. Any extra ships? There you go. Uh, I wish I could see how many we've killed off. That's nice. That's very nice. Cool. And I'll, I'll put some planes on here as well. Uh, Griffin Stone. Griffin Stone is right here. We don't have a lot of good areas to get into there, though. So what if we did, like, 19 here? I guess I'll just make it one gigantic front against the enemies, though, so. Yeah, might be able to do well. Griffin Stone, that'd be nice. And then, uh, we'll do that, we'll do that, and then do something like that. Very good. The Arctic Empire, alright. I'm gonna pull you guys out. Oh! That's why we gotta pull these guys out. That's a little annoying, not gonna lie. Reinhard Suntail? He should do relatively okay, seeing as it's over a river, but you know what? We were defeated! Oh, I'm going to kill them all off then. Oh, it's going to be a genocide here. Oh, it's going to be a genocide here. How did we lose? Try it again. Yeah, try it again, you piece of garbage. How did they keep... Yeah, screw these guys. That That's stupid. That's really stupid. It makes sense from the devs' point of view, but, you know. I don't like this. I'm going to kill every last one of them off. Uh, let's see. Genocide is not a strong enough word for what I'm about, I'm about to do to these people. Well, Vyakyakistown... Oh, yes, yes. Again? Okay, seriously, we need to go to war now. Go to war now. Hurry up and get this done. But a life on the farm. It's a scam, Rhyme repeated for the twelfth time, leaving Matilda to sigh. Most of the farmers have been ecstatic at the news, but as always, Reimer was there to bring them down. 
It is not a scam, she explained patiently. The government knows that if you have all the good tools, then you can do a better job. If they give us some money here to buy tractors and hire more griffs to help in the fields, and we can grow more food, and then we can sell it for more money, we can pay more taxes, the country gets more food. You know, when you do a little work early, that means you get a little better result in the end. That's not how anything works, Reimer protested angrily as he came up to her to take the letter from her. That school of yours just made your brain rot if that's how you think it works. It's just common sense. That act. At his remarks about her time at school, Matilda put the letter aside and grabbed them by the collar to pull him close. Listen in here, you smug plow humper, she snarled. After all these years of hard studies, she was not going to have him lecture her any longer. I'm not going to tell you how to grow spelt, so don't tear, don't you tear, dare tell me how to read contracts. I'm not going to. Whoa, 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 Helmut stepped in to separate the two by force, leaving each held in one claw by the giant griff. Reimer massaged his throat as Matilda gave him a glare that could freeze a furnace. So what was that about tractors? Uh, Helmut asked Matilda to keep the discussion going. Are they really going to help us buy them or what? I could get a tractor, and I'm going to kill every last one of these people here. This is this is stupid. This is stupid. I'm interested in playing them much more, but the Archon here has to just... We're going to have to hang him up by his claws. But, uh, what is this one? Oh, oh, yeah. The Yale model? Ooh, foundation of the social state. The role of the state is not to coddle the people or control their lives, but neither should it leave them abandoned and helpless. The Griffonian state will leave its people well cared for and given equal chances so that they may, can, all can find their own paths in life. Mm, no. Oh, we're doing well down here too. Look at that. Oh. Did you guys give up on just or something here? The Holy City is ours. The Fall of Griffinstone. Nice. That is stupid, man. How do we lose that? And we'll take all of Griffinstone for ourselves. Alright, call up everybody here. I'm going to put these guys so hard in the ground that it's not even going to be funny. You want to take our own territory from us after we beat the Griffonian Empire? No, 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 no. You wish you didn't piss us off. Cool. That's fine. You guys get... Uh, recon. I don't want to remove recon. Uh, I don't remove any of that stuff, but do that one. Supplies. Uh, that looks really bad. But actually not that bad. Tanks. Actually, we can throw more tanks here, too. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. 40 combo with tank divisions are very, very nice. You know, I'm not sure how effective we'll actually be able to use these guys. How effectively. Just because a lot of the terrain here is not very good. And grab some logistics. Grab some armored recon. Grab some mage companies. Eh, three portion more soft attack. That's eh, 24. I like the soft attack. Get some engineers as well. That'd be nice. Rumair? Yeah, that'd be good to do as well. But I'm killing these guys off first. How dare you do what you did to us? A new city? Yeah, no. I hope you like what you did to us. Because you're all going to die right now. Force the attack. Kill them all off. Every single last one of them. I don't care what happens. Kill every last one of them off. Hang up the griffin. Buy his claws if you have to. Oh, so foundations of the social state. Daily life. Hazelfeather looked at the col collection of various cheeses behind the glass and pointed at a particularly wonderful-looking arrangement of brie. It was wrapped in a loaf of sourdough bread, and the only way you knew it was brie was by the fancy, fancy handwriting in front of it. Uh, the sign in front of it. Her basket for groceries today to refresh grape bundles, proscutito, sliced so thin you could see through it like a sheer wedding veil, a dozen different kinds of apples from Granny Smith's to Macintosh Reds to Fiji's from Zebraica, and a bottle of pre-revolution wine that was at least a decade old. The cheesemonger nodded happily and pulled the brie arrangement out to place upon the countertop. That'll be for idols, he said, and in response she extended his claw and revealed the idols without hesitation. Just remember to heat it up until the scone around is golden brown for the perfect experience tonight. Hazel Feather threw the cheesemonger for an extra idol and happily wiggled her tail feathers that stuck out of her factory uniform. That was going to be a wonderful night in. Truly, life in Aquilia is grand. Complete linguistic education? Oh, yes. Or equalization, not education, but equalization. While we've already passed acts equalizing all Aquilian dialects within our territories, we now face the issue of an entire continent's worth of languages. Thus, we shall leave local languages up to local governments, with only Hetzlandish, Aquilian, owing body and requiring as a lingua franca. You're not going in hard enough. You are literally not going in hard enough. I want them all dead. Every last one of them dead. Extraction's nice. It is 10-13. Better radar. And get some Death Charge Throwers. No, no, no. You, you gotta get in, go in. You're going all in. 
There is no peace here for these guys. Everyone go all the way in right now. No peace. No peace for these pieces of garbage. I don't care what it takes. I really don't. Every single last one of them has got to die. 160,000 manpower has been lost in the past few months. Last year, really. And they're... Oh, they refuse to... Hmm. Good. They're gonna die. So be it. So flippin' be it. Oh, so the Barony of Angrafa. It looks like we have to manually take them out ourselves, maybe. But it shouldn't be too bad. So we'll take those guys out next time. And then have one massive war against the Griffonian People's Republic or Griffonian People's Faction Alliance or something like that. And also go take out Rumair as well. But I'll th leave these guys here to deal with that. Which we'll probably just try to siege them on the border here and let them attack us relentlessly until they all die. Which will, is usually what we do for this one. So, very good. And uh, let's maybe read two more and then do well. Uh, unconditional secularization. There can be no distinction between religions in the New Republic. Indeed, there can be no such thing as a state religion of any kind. We must take all and any steps to ensure that no one religion is promoted by over another one in Aquilia and beyond on the continent, by force, if necessary. Backhand blow, very nice. More divisions, thank you, because we're going to definitely need these guys where we're headed. Oh, boy. Oh, don't tell me we need more uh, things here. There we go, there we go. Oh, definitely down there, too, though. Oh, so bad all, all around here. So bad. And then, unconditional secularization. Cool. But, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow, as we will go down south and west and take out the, hopefully, probably most, of the continent. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.